Okay, for this part then, we're given that h equals this equation here, and we've got to find out the maximum value of h and the value of t that that occurs at. Now, obviously this has got something to do with what we've been doing before, and where it is similar is this stretch here, okay? We can see that this is 2 sine theta minus 1.5 cos theta, where clearly theta is the 4 pi t over 25. And we saw that this expression, okay, we could put in the form r sine theta minus alpha. So we can rewrite this then based on that idea that therefore h equals 6 plus this expression, which was r, r being 2.5 sine of theta, but now theta is the 4 pi t over 25, then it was minus alpha, and we discovered that alpha before then was 0 0.64350 and so on. Okay, so I would use that unrounded angle there. Okay, now maximum value of h. Well, we've got to take the maximum value of this part of the equation, which we found out earlier was 2.5, and then add it to the 6. So clearly then, we've got therefore the maximum value of h is going to be 6 plus 2.5, and that is going to be 8.5. So we've got a maximum height then of 8.5 meters. Okay, well with that, okay, we now have got to find out the value of t that gave us that maximum. And we know that this value in the brackets here must be pi upon 2 to achieve that. The sine of pi upon 2, remember, gives us 1. That maximizes this part of the equation. So let's start then by saying that when, okay, 4 pi t over 25 minus the 0 0.64350 and so on, okay, equals pi upon 2. All we've got to do now is just add this value to the pi upon 2 and therefore 4 pi t over 25 equals pi upon 2 then plus 0 0.64350 okay and so on we'll just come down here and what we've got then is that 4 pi t over 25 equals and if you just work that bit out on your calculator you're going to get 2.21429 and so on just rearrange this to get t. Just times both sides by 25 and then just finish that off and then divide by 4 pi. And what you get then is that t equals 4.40520 and so on. And then we can round this say to two decimal places and that's going to be 4.41 hours. Okay, just put 2 dp in there. Alright, so I hope that's given you some idea how to tackle that part then.